Hello friends, welcome to Code Slate. In this lesson, we will see how to achieve if else switch and how to list the list how to list using the each. So let's start with if else. So here uh, we will set the condition in the controller class and then use that condition based on the condition we display true or false. Okay. So let's start with the template. We'll just update the template. So this is the template. And uh, in the if condition, if condition is true, then we'll, we'll display condition is true unless that is equivalent to else in Java. If condition is else part then it is condition is false so so we are expecting the condition attribute so let's start set the condition attribute here model dot add attribute condition boolean dot Just say both the template as well as the controller. So here now we should able to display condition is false. So let's run the application. Go to the command prompt. Gradle. So if you see here, the condition is false because we have set the condition as false in the controller class. Let's see how this, ca this can be achieved using if and both using if and but not condition. Let's see. So here now we will say instead of unless we will use and but before condition we can say not which means if it is equivalent to if and else if condition if it is true then it will true so not of condition then if it is similar to else so let us test this one to kill this just run again just put the reload so you can say that condition is false so we can achieve if else using if and unless or you can also say if not of condition this also one way of achieving if else so now let's see how to achieve the switch this is similar to switch statement in java it is uh, similar we set the value in the for the attribute and then we can write the number of cases so let's start with i have some simple example So I have a switch case where the role it checks the role if the case is if the role is admin then I want to display user is an administrator if the role is manager I want to display user is a manager if none of these matches then user is something else so we need we need to set the role in the controller class let's set that So I want to set role. Let's set to the manager. Okay. 
just save the both the template as well as so I set the role to manager and then we are expecting user is a manager let's run that one I've restarted the application let's go here yeah this is ready let's reload so user is manager so this is how the switch statement works so we just recap we have set the role in the controller class and we are checking the switch state switch statement and then in the switch we check if the role is admin then we display user is an admin if manager user is a manager in case otherwise you display user is something else we can use switch statement to achieve the if else as well now we'll see the each statement that is listing the elements so we have a list in the we'll set the list in the controller and that list will be iterated in the template and display so let's start with this um, so well, let's start with the display yeah before that we'll set the suppose we set the attributes model dot add attribute I want to set students and then I want to set the list this I want to list in the template so let me add the students here I'm adding three students so these are three students that I want to list in the So here, if you see the, this is used to iterate through the students, students list and print each student in here. So let's, so this is used to iterate the list of students. Just save it. So I have added three students and I'm iterating the students and then displaying that. Let's scale this. Yeah, if you see there, I am iterating the list and then printing the students here. Yeah. let's recap in this lesson we have seen how to use if else uh, to we achieve if else condition in time leaf we also saw 
how to achieve if else condition using if and unless and also using if not before the condition here we are using not before the condition so there are two ways to achieve um, if else and we also saw how to achieve the switch statement and also see also saw that how to list the students yeah this is the end of this lesson thanks for watching meet you in the next lesson